Tell me, who you really, really, really think is more lyrical? Cause every time I go, somebody gotta see the medical And every time I come, I'm eating everything instead of a Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Moss. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go to the bottom of the screen. There's a button there that says that it says subscribe. Make sure by the end of this video, it says subscribe. Duh. The keyword is the D at the end. That came out so wrong. Anyway, subscribe guys, subscribe. Uh, yeah, so today what I'm gonna be doing is cooking. It's another one of those days that I feel like cooking, so I'm gonna be making, um, what am I making? I am making chicken curry, guys. It's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it'll be interesting. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, this is what you're gonna be seeing most of, throughout most of the video now. Here we go. What I've done is, I've got some chicken breast, dust it up, now I'm gonna season it. The key word is, guys, you need to season it before you heat up your meat. So, what I've got is a bit of turmeric. I'm gonna add it in there, just to give it some color. And then, you got your regular black pepper. You add it in there. You got your salt. Add it in there. And, the best part of it all, saffron, Persian saffron. Guys, if you don't know about this, then you are missing out. And just to give it that extra, extra little bit of taste is chili powder. But you put a tiny bit, because this stuff is chili. That's a lot. Right. Now what you do, be your plastic spoon, because you don't want to mess up the scratch up the inside of your frying pan. You give it a little stir, spin it up, here and there. Get those colors in there. Get it going. Uh, notice I haven't put any oil or anything in there or butter in there yet. So, <clears throat> give that a good spin around. I will do in a minute. I'll add that oil pretty soon. So, that's kind of a quick marinade for your chicken. We don't need to put it in the fridge, leave it for long and this and that. We don't bother that way. Right. And then, pattern it out so the heat goes to all of them evenly. You turn on the heat. It'll take some time. Now, <coughs> the fun part. Oh my God. Olive oil is a brand new one. I'm gonna open it. Be, be patient with me, guys. Right, you get your olive oil, voila, stick it all in there, all done. Now, give that another stir again so make sure it all gets oily, nice. Now, this will take some time guys, so be patient with me, alright. Uh, right, what I'll do, I'm going to leave that to cook up, I'm going to put the lid on, let it cook for a while, and I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes, so you guys don't get bored, yeah? A few moments later. Guys, as this is getting prepared, I'm also making the rice. Now what I've done is I've got some rice, put it in a bowl, yeah, don't watch that, the colour changes, it's a ring and style. Anyway, so, basically, you put your rice in there. Now what you want to do is rinse your rice four or five times possibly. Okay, so you put some water in there, you keep spinning it, drain it, do it again, over and over again, get all that starch out, make sure it's just clean, well, not clean, just, just rice without or less starch in there. That way it'll stop it from sticking together, it'll be all like one on its, by itself, it won't be, you know, like a, it won't be like a sponge if you like, it'll come out nice and fluffy and so yeah so you keep doing that drain it put some water in it keep doing it i'm going to put this over to cook as well this is on an electric cooker and uh, we'll see it soon see you in a bit a few moments later so guys this is the chicken after about five minutes or so since i last spoke to you it's starting to get you know cooked up a little bit so what you do is just give it a little stir make sure all sides of it, everything's getting cooked nicely. 
evenly. See some parts are cooked, yeah, these bits are cooked. The white ones that you've changed colour, it has. Now, the new. Oops, be careful not to splash any of the oil onto yourself. Ow. Anyway, so. Yeah, um, I'm going to leave that to cook a little bit longer. Make sure it's all cooked fully. Guys, you don't want to mess around with chicken. You don't want to undercook it. It's not a joke. It's not meat. Chicken needs to be cooked properly. You eat chicken that is not cooked right, uh, you'll face some troubles. Uh, you don't want that. Anyway, I'll see you in a couple of minutes with some more updates and on what's going to be going on. Well, hey. A few moments later. Guys, we're back. So let's have a look at what's going on underneath. Oh, that was hot. What's going on underneath this lid? You ready? Voila. Look at that. See them colors? It's all the flavors, it's all the juice, and everything's in there. You gotta get excited, guys. This smells beautiful. And not only that, I haven't even added the curry sauce to it yet, guys. Oh my god! So, sorry guys, I just get excited when there's chicken involved. I love my chicken. I get really overexcited. I get, you know, I do some extras. So, um, just be patient with me, you know? Right, <coughs> what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open this bad boy up. Now, guys, I just get my chicken curry sauce ready made. I'm not going to go make it from scratch. I'm not, you know, I ain't got time to cook like that. I'm not ready to, to cook, cook, if you know what I mean. So you open this bad boy up, you just pour it all in there. There you go. Get in there, my son. Go on. Right. And then, these particular packs have a little something underneath there as well. There's some other spices or herbal spices in there so obviously I'm not gonna let that go to waste I'm also gonna open it up just so voila and uh, there we go and guess what time it is to do now guys stir 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 you gotta keep stirring this you don't stir it it doesn't mix if it doesn't mix it doesn't taste nice the taste doesn't go everywhere so you gotta look after it you gotta give it some attention. Make it. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is add some water to this. I just need to go in the fridge and get some. I'll be back in a second, guys. I'm gonna have to cut this off. I'm gonna have to cut the video off. Get some water. I'll be back. A few moments later. Did you miss me, guys? I got more water real quick. You just pour it in there. Get it in there. That's it. There you go. That should do it. And then give it the final stir. Make sure everything is mixed up all nicely. There you go. As so. Do that. Now be careful. This is hot. Put the lid back on. Now, guys, let me show you something else. This, remember this? With the dirty bit on the inside? Don't judge me, guys. There it is. That's some oil in there, there's some water, and some salt. When you put the water in there, you see that line, that line of your finger, that much you, above the rice, you want water to be in there. Don't watch my nose as well, I haven't cut my nose either. So, the rice is here, you put your finger in, up to that much above, up to that line, that bit of finger, water needs to be above the, the, the rice. I'm going to turn the, the, the cooker on on this, leave it to cook. It'll take maybe about 15, 20 minutes and that will be ready. And more at the same time, this will be ready. And then you guys will get to see what it looks like when it's ready and finished. Are you guys excited? Because I am. A few moments later. Guys. This is a thing on the side that we I enjoy. I love this so much. This is yogurt. Now this is homemade yogurt. 
Uh, I like my 10% yogurt, the 10% fat, but I think this is way more than 10% fat. It's, oh, it's solid guys, it is solid. Anyway, to, to get this out of just its plainness, what you do is you get some black pepper, stick it in there, right? Now this is already salty enough as it is, so I'm not really gonna add salt. But what I'm gonna add, this is the bit that kick, gives it a good kick. Uh, mint, dry mint. I've grinded this a bit so it's become smaller. There you go. Now what you do, you get a spoon, you stir it, let the mint settle in the yogurt. Let it mix, let it brand, let it marinate, whatever you wanna call it. When this bad boy here gets ready to cook, to, to, to be eaten, you mix it with this, oh my god. I'm telling you, I'll see you in a bit. A few moments later. So guys, I'm back again, and this is what it is starting to look like. Oh. Anyway, so, okay, okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. See, the chicken is all cooked. The sauces are all mixed up, it's settling down nicely. The, the extra water that I put in there has evaporated, so it's more, um, uh, the sauce is more thicker now, it's not so watery, if you like. Now, all I'm waiting for is for the rice to be made. Look at that color, guys. Just, 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 it just press pause for a second. Yeah, just look at that. Oh, okay, I'm burning guys. I'm gonna put the lid back on. It's, uh, yeah. Oh. Anyway, sorry to spoil you on that. Enjoy. I'll see you in a minute. Don't go anywhere, yeah? One eternity later. Guys, the food is now ready. Just look at that color. Look how beautiful it is. All I can tell you that it smells amazing. It's beautiful. And the one thing that I really enjoy is when chicken is getting fried and that sizzling noise, it's amazing. Guys, have a seat and let me show you what the finished product looks like. Are you ready? Voila. You got your rice there, you got the chicken there, and you got the uh, yogurt with mint and pepper that I told you about. Now, take a spoon of that, take a spoon of this. It's amazing amazing guys it's amazing anyway i'm gonna go eat this uh i don't know what you guys are doing today what you're eating but whatever it is my mouth is watering guys i'm sorry um <clears throat> i have to go now thank you very much for watching and uh uh i'll see you next time thank you bye tell me who you really 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 think is more lyrical because every time i go somebody gotta see them